What is up everyone, JD here. I hope you're doing well today. We're gonna to be doing an EDC update. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna be running kind of through what I'm carrying, how I'm carrying it, just to give you guys a little bit of an update, let you know what's going on new. Uh, what I'm gonna to touch on really quickly first are some of the things that haven't changed a lot because I'll be able to move through that quickly. So I do still carry the extra aluminum wallet here. I do have the one that has the RFD blocker and with mine, I picked up the piggyback because I like that I can throw some cash down in here and then ID, concealed carry permit, and medical card here. And then on the inside, some cards, um, debit card, a couple credit cards, and my HSA are in here. The switch works really nicely, so I'm just going to kick it out here <laughs> really quickly. I just did it upside down. I was like, oh, wait, that's the wrong side. Um, I'm used to pulling it out of the wallet and grabbing and doing it, but I'm just going to use my finger to kind of block to keep it from popping out to show too much information. But just to demonstrate, it's a, it's a nice system, and it kicks out pretty well, and I do really like this. It's nice and thin. Uh, I carry this with my lip balm on the same side side that I carry the pocket knife so this drops in closer to the middle <laughs> and then the pocket knife sits over here so they don't really interfere with each other but I really like this it is a little pricey I will link it in the description but so far it's holding up really well I think there's only that Nick and I think I thought there was one other one maybe that's just the one oh oh, oh it is a little hard to see right here right here along the top the edge i guess that's where i don't know something something's rubbing against it but to me um the aluminum construction the coating is holding up fairly well considering you know it's constantly in the pocket with something else and i feel like it's very solid construction so i'm going to continue to keep you guys updated because for the longest time i was carrying like the leather wallets and then i kind of did the ridge sandwich together and that just to me like the whole thing shifted and everything this to me is a much more effective system uh, it feels really well made and it doesn't take up a ton of space so that's enough time on the wallet the next thing i'm going to touch on just really quickly i still continue to carry on occasion the data clue data crew what a slide this to me is situational so like going to the gym um, or if i already have my wallet and phone in the gym shorts I'll grab this and right now internally it is storing the SOG pliers but if I'm carrying it that way what I'll do is kind of Garrett Gary Gary I will Gary one of my companion carry knives <laughs> I will carry like my hyphen the Roxy 3 is too chunky to fit in here I'll throw my hedgehog in here or my Devo nip that'll really fit well in here the pony stout pony stout also fits really well in this one um, but in this particular setup because I do have my tactical keychains utility slide in here I do have the SOG in here so that does cover my needs from that perspective and then it's just something to write with flashlight recharge cable for my earbuds and the flashlight um, actually I apologize that actually has to ha be on a battery charger and then I have a tool in case the pivot on a knife I might carry as well goes loose there's also a Phillips head flathead in here and band-aids and an alcohol wipe in the back I carry the microfiber cloth to clean off my telephone screen my camera lens on the phone or my eyeglasses and then I am actually waiting for a different set of buds to come in I do want to do some comparisons so I do have two sets of Raycons what I'm probably gonna do is just sell off the black pair that I keep in my work bag and then I have another set that's coming in in black that I want to compare to this directly and then I want to do something like around 50 or under for some ones that I have seen that I've gotten good reviews to kind of compare all of them and just talk a little bit about them because I think a lot of us might use the earbuds when we're watching streaming on a device so it's not you know intrusive to others to me i do like to throw one in the left ear when i'm working and listen to pods like a you know like a pod without watching them talk because i don't really need to see their face to hear what they're talking about so i do enjoy it in that capacity the gym outside in the yard etc etc but i just have um you guys have asked me about some of this stuff on here so just really quick 
Um, some of this stuff is from knife manufacturers, or I got it from Data Crew directly. These four I got from Data Crew directly. And these I got all on Etsy. This is from Devo Knives. And this is, I believe, from Jack Wolf, I think. Um, and the one on inside is Etsy. This is an atom bomb from EMP EDC. I keep forgetting to go to his website to get one to match this zipper pool. But on this side, if I'm just carrying this and I don't want to carry a wallet, um, this would be ID, debit card, and if any cash, I would just stick that in here. Uh, and then I'm just kind of carrying this loosey-goosey. Sometimes I'm actually just kind of grabbing it by the elastic here, but that's probably not healthy for the elastic. All right, now let's get into the good stuff, the stuff that you've been waiting for. I'm going to start with something that is interesting to me, but probably not as much to you guys. Recently, um, I've started rotating in fixed blades here into my rotation, and I've really enjoyed it. So I started out with the Asher Knives Little Buddy. This one here is S90V G10 with a Kodak sheath that is very thin in profile, has a deep carry pocket clip, and this really is what helped me realize that you can pocket carry a fixed blade that still gives you really good purchase and good cutting performance and it's kind of fun to just you know occasionally carry something different i'm not carrying them every day i'm not going in deep on on the fixed blades i feel like these two have really satisfied my need to check these out fulfill my curiosity, kind of scratch that itch, and I've enjoyed them so much that I do rotate these into my carry, and it surprised me how much that I've actually enjoyed this. And I did pick these two because the scales can be customized later in case I want to go down that rabbit hole, but right now I do not. Um, that one was coming in at 110 coming in at about 70 bucks, which I think is probably the better option if you're on the fence and you are curious like i was but you don't want to go you know spend a ton of money on something that you may end up only carrying on occasion which truth be told you know i rotate these in for fixed blade friday with other gear so this if you enjoy fidgeting with your knife is not going to satisfy that but you know or if you're going to be you know in the garage breaking down a bunch of your cardboard to get into the recycling and get it ready for taking out and putting it in your bin you know these are really going to excel at that but this one's nice they both have really good retention nitro v and micarta on this particular one the nitro v is performing very very well i'm just so confused on nitro v because i keep hearing people say that it does not even perform as well as 14 c 28 n but to me 14 c 28 n performs really well um so what i'm thinking is that 14 c 28 n can take like a hair popping sharp edge and i think nitro v can as well but i'm wondering if maybe just nitro v can't hold that as long because it's really held its edge really well and it's had incredible bite and i have a couple of nitro v i think two right now in the inventory nitro v uh steel knives and um you know they just they, they're doing so well so i'm not really sure that i'm understanding because I, I understand the properties and the differences and i see where at the standard 59 to 60 heat treat where nitro v doesn't perform as well as 14 c 20 and m at that lower heat treat or maybe it was higher and at the lower heat treat nitro v performed better i don't know maybe it's like s90 v and that at the lower heat treat it performs better than you can get from 14 c 28 in at the lower heat treat I, I really don't know but they both have nice geometry they're a little bit more robust they're very comfortable i get a little bit better purchase as far as all four fingers on the mink i think i forgot to say the name this entire time <laughs> uh this is the vosti mink but on the asher knives little buddy it's a little bit beefier of a handle so this actually feels a little bit more comfortable in hand for me with the larger hands because this one's a little bit more slender with this one here it had the tech lock system which was really bulky and you had to like pinch and close it down um what i did and i messed up here but i'm just really i don't care <laughs> to fix it um it wouldn't quite line up with the three holes so i was i didn't realize this is super hardened steel 
I was trying to take some of my bits, and I guess because they're older, I was trying to drill it out to where I could have these two moved up to have this as deep as possible. Um, when I realized the bits weren't going to penetrate, I just filed it down and smoothed it out. I probably should you know, spray paint it back so that it's not shine, so shiny there. But I'm just doing the same thing that I do with the little buddy, dropping it in the pocket. When I need the knife, what I'm doing is going down to the pocket and then just thumb kicking it out and that that kicks it out so those are really quick overviews that well supposed to be really quick but it was too nice um something new that i'm trying fixed blades for you that are interested in it i'll try to timestamp this to jump ahead in case you just don't care about that at all which i totally get uh next companion carry knives there's quite a few that are in the companion carry these are ones that are exclusively when i'm wearing my jeans with the fifth pocket so if i don't have my jeans these may not get included in the rotation. Um, they may be more going into the pouch. So I do have the traditional pocket knives exclusive version of the Hedgehog, which is M390, and you have an assorted handle op. You have an assortment of handle options, including jig titanium and a bunch of different carbon fiber options. I think this. Uh, gecko version has sold out unfortunately so that is no longer available but you have instead of 14 c 28 in you now have m390 with a hollow grind the cutting geometry here helps this perform really well it has really retained its edge it meets minimal resistance it has a good edge angle from the factory i have not had to do anything with this with the cutting that i do which is basically opening packages cutting loose string i have cut some zip ties loose with this and uh, getting into packages and uh, I've broken down some small Amazon boxes with it and it's been phenomenal. Great walk and talk. And with JD TPK, because it is an exclusive, you'll get $5 off your purchase for this one, making, I think, $140. Not 100% sure on that, but this is great. If you aren't sure about slip joints and you want a premium one to check out, this would be my recommendation. Some people are going to say they don't like the way that it closes, but to me, I'm only closing it to put it in the pocket. I'm not sitting here looking at it. I'm usually, if I have it out, doing this. Or, you know, if I'm looking at it, it's in the open position, which I still think it's a very good looking knife. So this is uh, one of the top companion carry knives. And then recently I got in a uh, one of my own nips. This is the purple nurple nip, I think is what it's called, I think. Um, this is really cool for a three finger knife. This is definitely a package opener. Uh, I don't use this to break down any boxes. Uh, loose, loose string for sure. No food prep or anything like that, but just something, you know, if somebody's like trying to open something, I can grab this and it's great for those utility and draw cuts. I really do like this one. The Wee Hyphen is one that's in that rotation as well. Um, for a little while, I had the Finch Hellfires one that sort of at an angle fit into that fifth pocket. It was actually a little bit longer than the Hyphen, but the Hyphen has those better ergos. All right, let's jump into the nitty gritty. We're going to do some main carries and talk about what's mostly been in the pocket. And we're going to kick it off with this combo here. This is typically what I'm carrying with that wallet I had out here earlier. I have my Art Company organizer that usually carries my Raylite Lan Apple. I have a couple of different versions of this one. This one is the Stonewash Titanium. It did have a shiny pocket clip that was polished. I did acid etch and stonewash that to help it match the body a little bit more. I do have the Tritium inserts in these. I do like these. I went with the blue here on this particular one. I apologize for the pocket lint or anything else that you see on the flashlight there. You can even see the pocket lint on my fingernail from grabbing this stuff. Um, this just shows everything that sticks to the scale or uh, any of the material at all. But I went with the blue on this one. We'll bring that back out here to show the other one here in a second. This one here, I definitely went all in on the Timascus button was like an extra 10 or 15 bucks. You know, nothing super hard to install either. You do have a rechargeable flashlight on the inside here. You do have a glow ring. Um, sorry, it's going to show. There you go. It has a glow ring against the glass, which is really nice. And then it looks like it has another glow gasket down there 
on the um, LED. So really cool flashlight, nice size, the titanium a little bit heavier than the aluminum, but I do really like that a lot. It has been definitely the most carried flashlight out of all the ones that I have. They don't make this one anymore, so I'm going to recommend the one that will come out here in just a minute. But this is my titanium bolt action smooth precision pin due to some health issues he ended up kind of shutting down and selling the equipment which is unfortunate you know this is definitely my favorite everyday carry titanium pin they did some really cool designs this is just one of the basic simple ones that i wanted for my edc pouch um i think i have a refill of mine in there can't really remember what it's called i'm blanking Let's take a quick peek. I think it's mine. Let me see. No, this has the Schmidt. The Schmidt is good, though. I do like the Schmidt. Um, I do feel like the Schmidt bleeds a little bit. But I think it's the Parker. Is it the Parker refills? Is that what's in here? I think this is the one that came with it, too, actually. Yeah, this is the one that came with it. This is like some no-name pilot. The pilot. The pilot pins. The pilot refills. They have the nice refills too, though. Um, this one, the spring's on the back end, which is kind of neat. The knife that I carry, companion carry, in here with these that have been really heavy in the rotation. This is the Roxy 3. Just got it back recently. S35N Warncliffe blade. Ceramic bearings. I do have skiffs in here. Flamed Anno Titanium with Titanium hardware and a mill Titanium pocket clip and three-quarter lengths backspacer. This is just a really cool piece, kind of a statement piece that is very satisfying to fidget with and deploy and an excellent performer and cutter i really do like s35 yen a ton guys i think it's still undervalued in the knife world everybody wants the new exciting trending steel but it's still a really good performer and then one that i've really enjoyed and i think is one of Wii's best models period is going to be the nefaris it does kind of remind me of the nimble x here as far as how comfortable it is ergonomically how it really works in the trigger position even when you're trying to power cut and push cut it's super comfortable they seem to do a good job with their 20 cv i cannot complain it has held an edge really well it's kept its bite the hand rub satin finish on this particular version is very nice as well. I think this is a model I'd like to see them, even if they don't do any... Oh, I scratched my flame anno. Even if they don't do, you know, the exciting materials, maybe you just bring the anno titanium into the fold here to have the nefarious be a part of your regular production, because I think this is popular for a reason. Great action. Very satisfying detent. I mean, it is just really good great sounds i like that it has the sterile pivot here minimal speed holes it does have the Wii logo here on the pocket clip which to me is not offensive at all you got a little lightning anno in the pivot it's just this one's really good guys i don't know what i scratched it against i scratched it against something i'm not really sure because this i carry in the pocket separate from everything but this has been one of my two main loadouts. Um, we'll jump ahead here in a second. The other main loadout, things that have been in my pocket the most recently, it's going to be, it looks very similar, right, to the other type of loadout. I got the organizer here. We'll go reverse order this time. I have my Spyderco Sleaze Bowie. This is the Knife, Knife Joy exclusive one that came out here recently. Um, this one here has the blue anno. I did pick up the Rips Garage Gear pocket clip. My only complaint about this is with the contoured scales. Sometimes in the jeans, if they're a little bit thicker, it kind of wants to stop like here. And you have to really shove it down to get it in the rest of the way. And then you have, you know, just as much as you do with the wire pocket clip sticking out. With the wire pocket clip, though, it is rubbing on the scales. So it is leaving a little bit of a mark. You got M390 from Spyderco here. Very slice of geometry. Phosphor bronze washers. But the action is really nice. And it has a good detent. This is not the best detent I've ever felt. But it is far from the worst. It's, it does simply work for me. It is not going to be a guillotine because of the phosphor bronze washers. But it is going to be more of a workhorse that's going to be less susceptible to any sort of dirt, debris, or dust gumming up the pivot. 
or affecting the action on this for longer periods of time. Very well centered. It does have a G10 backspacer. I've been looking at backspacers. I might upgrade to something that maybe has some fun colorways or something in it. I've seen some glow gaskets. Um, I've seen a couple of different gaskets, but right now it's just been a pocket clip upgrade. And I'm not certain that I've settled on this one. I did go with the stone wash here to kind of match the hardware as opposed to trying to do the blue anno on it. I've had some people complain about um, how this absorbs the oils from the skin. And to me, that's never really bothered me with anno. I always think of it as like a patina. All right, let's jump into the rest. I know this video is running a little long. I do apologize. So this is the aluminum version of the Land Apple. It does have a really good coating on it that has held up so far so well being that this one's a little bit more reflective i did leave the pocket clip alone we'll go ahead and grab the black light out here um try to get some of that pocket lint off of there same thing here i went with red on the blue just for contrast and then it had as that glow gasket on the inside as well same functions as the other one this one being a little bit lighter and a little bit better heat dissipation because it has the aluminum shell on it and on this one here, I did notice, and I don't know if the color will come through, for some reason the body is a little darker or a different shade than the head on that one. Doesn't bother me too much because, again, it still matches, but this feels more like um, it has slate in it, whereas this feels a little bit more bright and vibrant. And maybe that has to do with the heat coming off of the light itself. Not sure. Uh, this was the pen that I was going to recommend because they do not have that smooth precision pen anymore. It is going to be the tactile turn mini slide click. This is a great size because it's still full enough to be able to grip on. And then it does have, you know, a very mechanical feel to the click action but it does work well this is very special because it is an all titanium construction so even the hardware on the inside here is all titanium which i think is really awesome i anodize this myself it's definitely a blurple color you can really tell in person and because i got this engraved the way that this was heated up in the middle if you don't clean it when it comes in it what it does is it has that fade effect to it but that's because here in the middle it got heated up when they did the the engravement and that makes it so that it's a little bit harder to get the natural color of it and what it ends up doing is it ends up reacting to it like you did it at a lower voltage so i did this first and when i saw that it did that i decided to do kind of like a purple and a blue just to kind of do something a little bit different there with the screws and then because this was the blurple i went with the higher voltage um, for the cap to kind of match the top screw there and then i did this one to be close as i could to that purple it's kind of worn off a little bit because you click on it so oh, i click on it so much when i use it and i think this still has that standard refill in it but i really do like that it's a great size and very comparable in size and performance with writing as it is for the smooth precision pen and then this one here gift from the wife this is my quiet carry nine this one here has the arctic blue camo carbon i really just like this knife a ton you got ceramic bearings and the pivot this one has the thinner bearings on it just real glassy smooth i did go ahead and install the skiffs for the additional balls and stability and additional smoothness smoothness and reducing the feedback even more in the pivot magnet cut on this has performed extremely well i love the static wash on here it's a really pretty finish I just like this model a ton and it does hold a special place in my heart because it is a gift from the wife. So that is everything guys. Total update. I don't think I've done one of these since the end of last year and I wanted to share like what predominantly makes its way through my pocket. I don't throw the keys in here. That really hasn't changed at all. I'll continue to carry. Um, my keys in a little key holder you know i'll throw that up on the screen i can't even think of the name of it but it's really interesting and it and it keeps it from all jingling around and everything like that but tell me about this loadout what you like from it what you might take from it i'll do my best to link everything some of the stuff like the sleeves bowie and the nefarious just not available even that roxy 3 was sold out i had a hard time finding that one to match the nefarious when it dropped um or the gecko um version of 
that hedgehog is sold out but i'll do my best to link those or maybe some alternatives or something that you can look at that might kind of get you there or at a lower price point thanks for watching to this point it helps the algorithm leaving a like and making sure you're subscribed if you enjoyed will also help special thank you to the channel members you guys really make this happen i appreciate your extra support i hope all of you have a fantastic week guys until next time peace Thank you.